Hi, this is question number seven from the HOA Statistics 1 June 2015 exam paper. For part A in this question, we're being told that the weight of a sack of mixed dog biscuits can be modelled by a normal distribution with a mean of 10.15 kilograms and a standard deviation of 0.3 kilograms. A pet shop purchases 12 such sacks that can be considered to be a random sample. We need to calculate the probability that the mean weight of the 12 sacks is less than 10 kilograms. So I'm going to start off by um, defining my problem. I've got my random variable x, which is normally distributed with a mean of 10.15 and the standard deviation of 0 0.3 or a variance of 0 0.3 squared. OK, um, and because I've taken a random sample and we're looking at the probability that the mean weight of the 12 sacks is less than 10, 10 kilograms, I'm going to have a random variable of x bar, which is going to be normally distributed, and our mean is going to stay the same as 10.15. OK, so our sample mean. However, our variance now um, is going to be 0 0.3 squared divided by n. And n, in this case, is going to be 12. OK, right. So I can also write down my standard error. Um, and my standard error is going to be equal to and it's going to be my standard deviation divided by the square root of n okay which is basically the square root of my um of my value here so 0 0.3 divided by root 12 okay so i now know what my standard error is i can now use this to work out my z value the question's asking me to calculate the probability that the mean weight of the 12 sacks is less than 10 kilograms. So to work out my z value here, that's going to be equal to the 10. Take away my mean, which is 10.15, divided by my standard error, which is 0 0.3 divided by root 12. OK, so um, I can pop that into my calculator now. So that gives me a z value of 10, take away 10.15. Zero point three root twelve and that gives me a negative root three or negative one point seven three. So negative one point seven three. So that tells me my z value. So if I have a look over here, um negative one point seven three is going to be around thereish. OK, so we want to calculate the probability that the mean weight of the 12 sacks is less than this. So we're looking for this part here. OK, so I'm looking for that there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out 1.73, which is over here. And I'm going to work out the probability of everything less than that. And then do one take away that to give me this bit here. OK, so one take away the probability of everything under 1.73 is going to give me this green bit here, which is going to be the same as the blue bit there. OK, so if I read off this value of my table, so I've got 1.73 and over here 1.71 1 1.73 is that value there, so that's 0 0.95818. 0 0.951818 so my probability that I want which I'll just call P 
and that's going to be equal to but it's going to be one take away the value that I just read off so it's going to be one take away 0 0.95 818 and using my calculator that's going to be 0 0.04182 0 0.04182 okay so um, that's going to be the mean uh, the probability that the mean weight of the 12 sacks is less than 10 kilograms. Now for part B, we're being told that the weight of dry cat food in a pouch can also be modelled by normal distribution. The contents x grams of each of a random sample of 40 pouches were weighed and subsequent analysis of these weights have given um, an x bar value of 304.6 and um, an S value of 5.37. We need to construct a 99% confidence interval for the mean weight of the dry cat food in a pouch um, and give our limits to one decimal place. Okay, so this time our N value is going to be equal to 40. So I'm just going to um, let's just line that off there. And I'll switch colours here, so we'll work in green. So this is part B now and um, we've got an n value of 40 this time and because we have a 99% confidence interval I'm going to read off a p-value of 0 0.995 and I can read off the corresponding z-value from my table over here and so 0 0.995 is going to be 2.5758 2.5758 so z is going to be equal to 2 point forgotten 5758 okay so I now know um, my z value so for my confidence interval I'm looking for um, 304.6 so my confidence interval is going to be equal to 304.6 and it's going to be plus or minus my um, standard error and my standard error is going to be given by my standard deviation which is 5.37 divided by the root of the uh, root of n um, which is the number in the sample which in this case is 40 so it's going to be the square root of 40 and so that's going to give me my standard error and I want to times that by my z value here which is 2.5758 okay so that's going to be 304.6 plus or minus and if I put that into my calculator I've got this over here so 5.37 divided by the square root of 40 and we're going to times that by 2.5758 and that gives me 2.187 ok so um, to get my lower limit on my um, confidence interval um, so we usually state our confidence interval in brackets with a comma in between so that's going to be 304.6 take away 2.2 um, so that's going to be 302.4 and my upper limit is going to be 304.6 plus 2.2 which is going to be 306.8 remember we were asked for it to one decimal place 
Okay, so um, and there you go. Th that's going to be my 99% confidence interval. Now, part two says comment with justification on each of the following claims. So claim one is that the mean weight of dry cat food in a pouch is more than 300 grams. Um, before I move on to this, I'm just going to tidy this up to give myself a little bit more room. Okay, so the mean weight of dry cat food in a pouch is more than 300 grams. That's the claim that's being made. Now, if we have a look at our confidence interval over here, I'm 99% confident that my mean is going to lie between 302.4 and 306.8. So the fact that the mean weight um, is more than 300 grams, well, that's higher. Sorry, the 300 grams is lower than my confidence interval lower limit. Um, so therefore it seems that this must be true it, it is going to be more than 300 grams so I'm already 99% confident it's going to be more than 302.4 grams so I'm definitely confident of that fact there so I'm going to say that this is valid in my opinion um, as 300 is below the lower Um, confidence interval um, value which is 302.4 okay and I'm happy with that okay now for the second claim so this is um, claim one so for claim two Okay, we're now being um, the claim being made here is that all pouches contain more than 300 grams of dry cat food. Okay, so we're not talking about the mean now, we're talking um, about all pouches containing more than 300 grams of dry cat food. So that's every pouch. Now, if we have a look at our mean over here, well, we've got a mean of 304.6. Now, our standard deviation here is 5.37 that's going to be per pouch so um, we're expecting a proportion to be higher than 300 but because our standard deviation is 5.37 that means that there's going to be a significant proportion that are going to be below the 300 as well okay so um, for claim 2 all pouches containing more than 300 grams of dry cat food is not valid so I'm going to say not valid this claim um, as and I'm going to just show a little calculation here because we're going to say well um, 304.6 take away my standard deviation and one of my standard deviations is 5.37 um, and that gives me 304 6 take away 5.37 that gives me a value of 299.23 okay so what we're saying here if I just show you on this diagram here what we're saying here is that one standard deviation is there if that's my mean uh, 304.6 this value here would be 299.23 okay and my 300 is going to be around here somewhere okay so there's going to be this proportion of um of tins of uh, sorry pouches of cat food that are going to be below this value of 300 so that's telling me that this is not going to be valid and what I'm saying here is well 299.23 is less than 300 so a significant proportion or I'll say a proportion a proportion um, of pouches will be below 300 grams 
Okay, um, and there you go. I hope all of that made sense. Um, thanks very much for joining me. I will see you next time.